Hi, I'm Fraser Simpson, and I'm here at the Tax Mechanic. She puts on her answering machine. I am gone for two weeks. If you need anything, blah, 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 phone this number. So I phone this number, and it hangs up on me. So I'm just about, I'm losing it at this point, right? So I've got various connections and everything. So I've got, I went to the head of collections in Canada. I don't normally do that unless I need to get some real action, right? And I got a call back like that, right? And you should have heard the attitude. The mm -hmm. attitude was, you know, we ain't removing this. And you could, we phoned that number and it doesn't hang up. Basically calling me a liar on the phone, right? And so I said, give me your badge number and your name and your supervisor's name and badge number because this is going to be a big problem for you. But in the meantime, I'm dealing with this guy, the guy's, and he's distraught. His, he, it's his pension. He says, I don't know how I'm going to get, you know, through the weekend. He's depressed. He's going on and on like that. Like, it's horrible. And his husband just died a few months ago. And so his pension, so I, I can't remember exactly how it works, but I think he's getting a death benefit, and that's being 50% garnished. Can you believe these people? Unbelievable. Like, this is it's just, and it's all computerized. But dude, the attitude of this woman, she was like, like, didn't care at all. She didn't care. Like, it was like, oh, well, he owes a debt, does it? Excuse me, you're dealing with a guy's pension. Right? And you're taking 50%. He's, it's fixed income. How much is he going to live? You know, obviously, if I go through the income and expenses, he's not going to be able to pay that much. So remove it and we'll go through that. These measures are unbelievable.